Hello, I'm Ty Mason of the DiabetesCouncil.com, researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Now, I want to emphasize that my perspective is coming from one with type 2 diabetes and not type 1. Our channel is primarily for those with type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. Today, I want to answer the question, am I going to go blind because of pre-diabetes? After you watch the video today, I invite you to check out the description box for my new ebook. This is one of the most comprehensive diabetes meal planning books you'll find anywhere. It contains diabetes friendly meals and recipes, recipes for different goals such as 800 to 1800 calories per day meal plans, diabetes meal planning tips and tricks, and there are also tons of diabetes friendly recipes for everyone. Now let me state up front, this is kind of a difficult question to answer. I mean, there is a chance, however be it a small chance, that a person with prediabetes could go blind from the disease. Now that being said, many with diabetes are at risk to go blind. Let me help explain with a little help from the American Academy of Ophthalmology. People with diabetes can have an eye disease called diabetic retinopathy. Now, this is when high blood sugar levels cause damage to the blood vessels in the retina. These blood vessels can swell and even leak, or they can close, stopping blood from passing through. Sometimes, abnormal new blood vessels grow on the retina, and all these changes can steal your vision. Now, there are stages of diabetic eye diseases. There are two main stages of diabetic retinopathy. The first is NPDR, and that's non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. This is the early stage of diabetic eye disease. Many people with diabetes have it. With NPDR, tiny blood vessels leak, making the retina swell. When the macula swells, it is called macular edema. This is the most common reason why people with diabetes lose their vision. Also, with NPDR, blood vessels in the retina can close off. This is called macular ischema. When that happens, blood cannot reach the macula. Sometimes tiny particles called exudates can form in the retina, and these can affect your vision too. If you have NPDR, your vision will be pretty blurry. Then there is proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or PDR. It's a more advanced stage of a diabetic eye disease. It happens when the retina starts growing new blood vessels. This is called neovascularization. These fragile new vessels often bleed into the vitreous. If they only bleed a little, you might see a few dark floaters. If they bleed a lot, it might block all your vision. Now, these new blood vessels can form scar tissue. Scar tissue can cause problems with the macula or lead to a detached retina. PDR is very serious and can steal both your central and peripheral vision. People with all types of diabetes, type 1, 2, and gestational, are at risk for diabetic retinopathy. Risk increases the longer a person has diabetes. Between 40 and 45% of Americans diagnosed with diabetes have some stage of diabetic retinopathy, although only about half are aware of it. Women who develop or have diabetes during pregnancy may have rapid onset or worsening of diabetic retinopathy. Now, I want you to notice something, that the American Academy of Ophthalmology did not count pre-diabetes in this study. That's because they do not consider prediabetes as being true diabetes. However, the American Diabetes Association recently published a study that said 7.6% of those who are diagnosed with prediabetes have, in fact, developed diabetic retinopathy. So the answer is you have a 7.6 chance percent of being legally blind if you have prediabetes. Don't forget to get my new ebook and please subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this one in the future. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm Ty Mason.